Hey y'all, it's Magnolia Money, and I'm going to start here with these sessions for you guys. Uh, I get a lot of common questions, and I'm going to try to answer them as best as I can all in one video here as far as the basics go. Uh, if you have questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or in the group uh, that this will be posted in. But you guys, we're, like I said, we're starting at the very beginning with the very basics because there's still people that are coming into this that are new and that don't understand it fully. So if you already know this, just kind of hang with us and just watch as we go because there might be other tips that you might be able to pick up on that you might not be aware of or something that you may have that will click that might make things a little easier. So starting off with the basics, we're looking at mirrors. Okay, a mirror is when you add five to a number. So if you add five to zero, you get a five. If you add from a five and you add zero more, you get zero. The reason why is because you're adding five, it'll give you 10. And because it's lottery math, which we will cover here in a minute, you only keep what's on the right hand side, so it would give you the zero. All right, so this chart here, you can screenshot this and you can see where your one can be a six or a six can be a one, two can be a seven and a seven can be a two. A three can be an eight and an eight can be a three. A four can be a nine and a nine can be a four. Now those are mirrors. All right, now when you start talking flips, that's when you're flipping a number and you're adding three to it, okay? So when you add three to zero, it's going to be three. Now, if you add three to that three, it's gonna be a six. They, they don't mirror, okay? No matter which way you add five, you're always gonna come back with the opposite of it, like that right there, like one and six. It's always gonna be six and one, it mirrors. Okay, the flips do not because you're adding three. Now, when you go through this chart, like I said, you could screenshot this and, and save it. But anytime you're looking for a five and you're wanting to find the flip for that, it's going to be an eight. If you're looking for the flip of a seven, you add three, that's going to be ten. You only keep what's on the right-hand side. That's going to be a zero. Same concept with if you add three to a nine, it's going to be twelve. You only keep what's on the right-hand side and you get a two. Now, those are flips. Now, a reverse flip is doing exactly the opposite of it, okay? Instead of adding three to it, you're actually going to subtract three. Now, with subtracting three, you take three from 10, it's gonna give you seven, all right? If you take three away from 12, it's gonna give you nine. You take three from six, it's gonna be a three. Now, reverse flips are something that you can get into, like say if you have a number um, five, 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 and you don't think that it's going to be, like, you, you think that you want to play a 5-5-5 five, five, five as a triple for a night, but you're like, nah, they're probably going to mirror something, or they're going to flip something. So say you go ahead and you mirror a 5, and you take one of your numbers as a 0. So now you have 0 five, 5 You could actually take that and do a reverse flip and make it 0 five, 2 and that could be an option, just by taking one number and reverse flipping it, which would be subtracting Three from it. So those are a variety of things you can look at. That's how those are played. Uh, we'll get into more details as we do more videos, but I just wanted to give you the basics of it. Those are mirrors, those are what flip numbers are, and those are what reverse flips are. Now let's see what else we have here. All right, so now you guys can see that we have mirror pairs, doubles, triples, fake or false triples. All right, so I'm going to cover each of these. Most of these you guys kind of already know. All right, you know what a double is. If two numbers are alike, that's a double, all right? So if you have 552, five, you've just had a double play. If you have an 881, eight, a double just played. So anytime there's two like numbers, it's a double. Obviously, we pretty much all know what a triple is. If you get all triples, all three numbers the same, that's your triple. But I put this on here because you would be surprised how many people do ask about the differences in these. So this is a triple. These are what doubles look like, and they can have numbers in between them, but as long as there's two numbers together, they are a double. So another thing that I wanted to show you guys is a mirror pair. All right, this is where your numbers could be a double. Like if you see here, I'm going to move this camera over, and hopefully we'll have everything in frame. All right, so you can see that you have your doubles, okay? Say you have... Zero, 0 or you have a 5-5. Five, five. Sometimes instead of a number triggering a double, they will play what we call mirror pairs, which means it is a pair just like the 0, zero and 5-5, five, five, but they've mirrored them. They've either created as a 0, 5, or 5-0. Five, All right, each one has their own set because we're mirroring, which we just learned about. Your, your mirrors are going to be set up together. 6-1, 7-2, or you're going to have 1-6, 2-7. All right, so if you think that, okay, well, a double's going to drop one night and you end up missing it because you get this happened to you, because you think that, oh, this 3-3 this three, three is going to play. It's going to be 3-3-0. Oh. 
or 339 or 331 well guess what they may throw you an 831 832 837 830 instead of giving you your double same concept as if you had your 55 five. it could be 552 five, all right that that may be something that you see in your rundowns very often you may see it play in a bunch of different things and you may be like okay 552 five, is going to play 552 five, is going to play and not really thinking about oh i need to mirror one of these because they could give you a mirror pair of 502 it could be um, 205 they could put 025 I mean they could throw in that two anywhere and play one of those fives that you just sworn by they could mirror that which would give you a mirror pair so that's what those are you can screenshot that and check it now a fake triple or a false triple there's people that are still learning this so I'm gonna go ahead and put this list up here this is basically where you think that a triple is gonna fall but it doesn't really but it kind of does and it's called a false triple or a fake triple that is where same concept is on your doubles when you just swear by it and you know that those two fives are going to drop and then they mirror it up same concept here okay you have where what would normally be triple zeros guess what they faked it they put a five in there they mirrored one of the zeros so it didn't come out a triple it's a fake triple it's a false triple uh, it could be any of these that could be a zero 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 or a five 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 triple would be any of those as a fake same concept with three ones or three sixes i'm outside guys it's a beautiful day so if you hear traffic i apologize okay <laughs> so we have the the sixes here it could play in any of those that would be a fake or false triple same with the twos all right same with the threes and the eights and if you see down here with the fours and nines they could instead of playing 444 they could throw us a 449 499 494 or 994 so it, usually if i feel like there's a really high possibility that shows up in a rundown that a triple is going to play i will play each one of these at least one time 50 cents or something just in case they throw a fake at us you know i'm not saying go out and do that every time you play a triple because some people play triples daily but just as a way for you to check your rundowns and compare your grids always keep in mind that they may do something like this before throwing out a triple so i hope that helps we're going to move on to something else now okay we have the date sum a lot of people ask how do you get the date sum why is the date sum important the date sum is important because everything with these numbers are correlated around your date right like there's methods that break down specifically to being the fifth month the 18th day taking pairs of five one five eight putting them together taking a pair of like five three five six putting them together and that's how you get your numbers there's a whole entire system set up strictly just on the dates which I would like to be able to introduce that to you guys even though I don't post it daily I do use that from time to time but we'll get into that later but that's the reason why the date sum is important because what you're doing in order to get the date sum is you're gonna add the month for example today's May what is it's May 18th okay so May is the fifth month you're gonna add it to the day which is the 18th okay so it's gonna give you 23 well, we can't go and highlight all twos and threes in there because it's just going to throw everything off. So what this concept pulls into is what we call lottery math, which you only keep what is on the right-hand side of whenever you add something, whether you are adding to a rundown or whether you are adding to increase on your grid, going up numbers. You always keep what's on the right-hand side. So your two becomes irrelevant. You keep the three, and that three would be your date sum. So you take the month, you add it to the day, Whatever you get on the right-hand side is what your date sum is. So if today was happened to be May the 3rd, okay, 5 plus 3 would have been an 8. That would have been the date sum for that day. And you're always looking for the date sum of the day your drawing happens, not the day that you create the grid like if you did it the day before. You want to make sure that the date sum is of the day the drawing actually occurs, okay? So that is going to wrap up the basics.